If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll actually now get a 10% discount for the rest of FIFA 14. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 93 of my player here on Xbox One. Two big games today, one of which is a cup game. Uh, we've had one rescheduled there for the next year, calendar year that is, but hopefully we won't be here during that calendar year. We've got Mainz and uh, Hanover, I think that is, Hanover 96 in the two games today. And then we will advance as far as this Borussia Dortmund game, just to see if you guys have a potential transfer to, uh, to decide upon. Of course, we want to... Uh, or well, I would like to move back to the Barclays Premier League to uh, to end this particular fourth and probably final season. We probably get to the end of the year by the time FIFA 15 comes out. We might get into a fifth season and uh, then end the season, just end when FIFA 15 comes out. I'm not sure. It depends on the time scale. It depends how long it takes us to get through the, uh, the rest of this fourth season. But... Hopefully, we'll have a transfer for you guys to vote on by the end of the episode. We will have to wait and see, but we've got two big games coming up. Two big games to hopefully continue to get some more goals. As you can see, we've already reached the objectives for goals and assists for the season already. We're in fantastic form. Already scored 33 goals this year, picked up eight assists. We are most definitely one of the best uh, strikers in world football right now. Rated at 86 overall, hoping to continue our run of good form. So let's jump in against Mainz, and uh, fingers crossed we can uh, get a good result. Baumgartlinger for Mainz, got a man on the outside of him in Sis. Decent left back, got quite a bit of pace, but uh, we get the blocking on the, the, uh, the cross, but then we give the ball away, and Nidalev has a chance of playing two promoting. Nice through ball and a good shot as well. Good save down low by Diego Alves. I wasn't expecting that through ball to get through. Extravagant shot from their man as well from 30 yards. Not really going to find that going into the back of the net, but Mainz clearly showing their intentions as we head into uh, these opening few minutes. Clearly they want to get themselves a goal quickly, but here's uh, Shakiri finds me. Oh, try and get the turn in. Can I get back on my left foot? We can. Shot across goal. Left foot is terrible. Still only got a one-star weak foot, and it goes over the bar. Good tackle by Ribri on Salah there. He's going to push forward. Now, oh, I was going to just let him run, but I think he was having trouble physically holding off the defender. Now, we've got a chance for a shot here. Oh, that's a screamer right into the top right-hand corner. I am very pleased with that finish. Bayern Munich 1, Mainz 0, inside 10 minutes. That was a wonderful hit. Really, really flush. Clean strike on the ball. Could not have got more into that top corner. Ribri fed us down the left-hand side. Nice turn inside. And that is a really emphatic finish. I am particularly pleased with that. Cut across it as well, so it bent away from the goalkeeper. Absolutely no chance. Bayern 1, Mainz 0. Salah into Koo. Got the chance to turn and find Okazaki. Finds the bottom corner almost. The shot was on target. Needed that good save from Diego Alves. Otherwise, we might have been back at 1-1 already. And a cheeky handball there means that uh, the pressure was relieved on us. We get a free kick. That was close. Good save by Diego Alves. And it needed to be made as well. Contento's got Ribri in front of him. Has used him. Contento continuing the run. And Lam will find him. Contento may use me here. Or he may use the run of Frank Ribri on the outside of him. He has done. I'll call for the cross. It's come. Can I beat the man to it? Not quite. Can the man underneath it keep possession? He's going to drop to a lava on the edge of the box. It's Philip Lam. He's got plenty of options for a pass here. One of which is a fantastic one through to Mario Goetz. A great turn. Oh, the finish is left wanting. That first touch and then just pause and let the defender continue to run was absolutely genius from uh, from Mario Goetz there. Just the finish not quite good enough. Trying to cheekily find that bottom corner. Couldn't quite do it. Five minutes left in this first half. Here come Mainz right at the very end of the first half. Salah is going to find Nidalev, he's got a runner inside him in Koo, I think it is. Played the through ball, but it's not going to get there. Dante should be comfortable enough to let that go. And there goes the half-time whistle. So, 1-0 at the break. Comfortable first half. Mine's not really threatening other than that early save drawn out of Diego Alves. We've had a couple of decent shots ourselves. A couple of not-so-decent shots ourselves. Most notably on our weaker left foot. But Goetz really should have made it too. Didn't. And we stay at 1-0 that early goal. The difference between the two sides. But fingers crossed we can extend the lead in the second half. True promoting has the chance to play down Okazaki on this left-hand side. Has found the Japanese international. And what can he do? Get tackled. But... Has the strength to hold off 
Uh, Diego Contento, no, Rafinha rather, and Chupo Moting is going to find Ku. Uh, can he get a turn on Dante? He's got a turn, draws a good save, a smart save out of Diego Alves. Mainz showing the same sort of attacking promise they did at the beginning of the first half, here in the second. Fingers crossed that they won't be able to get themselves an equaliser here five minutes into the second half. Win that header, please. Contento is only going to drop as far as Salah. But what can he do? Finds Chupo Moting. Is he going to get a turn in? He is, and have the shot, and another smart save by Diego Alves. Being called upon quite frequently here, the uh, Brazilian goalkeeper, and fortunately for us, he's in good form today. Riba's going to find Javi Martinez, who's come onto the pitch for Philip Lahm in the past few minutes. Here is Javi Martinez. I'll call for a through ball, and he will find me. Now, I don't have much support in the box. I'm going to have to just stand up and hope that someone gets there, and someone does. Mario Goetz, a what a diving header. We get an accomplishment for crossing... Oh, really pleased with that. Gertz has been absolutely fantastic for this Bayern Munich side this fourth season. Of course, rated 90 plus now. We just had no other option but to play that into an area where someone could run on onto it. And Gertz was that man. And what a diving header. So accurate off the post. Maybe it was fantastic accuracy. Maybe he just got a little bit lucky. It doesn't matter though. The ball's in the back of the net. And it's Bayern Munich 2, Mainz 0. Flick this on Chez have done but only as far as Chupa Moting and he's assist the left back in a rather central position but Okazaki might have the chance to play him back again. Bad Stuba shows good strength to get the ball away though. Ribri, Martinez, Alaba. Good passing. Gertz with a lovely turn. He's got Alaba running in front of him. Might use him. Does so. Can I call for a through ball from Alaba? He is going to find me. Should be a simple finish. No. Straight at the goalkeeper. Keep the ball though. We find Gertz again. That's a terrible pass. Gertz might find Javi Martinez. Does so. Can Martinez get across? I can't believe I missed that chance, to be completely honest. Simple, simple shot for 3-0, and the goalkeeper's made a fantastic save. Here's a labber. We'll use me. I'll get it to Goetze, and I'll make a continuing run, and he finds me, and we'll hit it first time. It's taken a... Oh, a nice block. I was going to say it's taken a deflection, but it was more of a block than that, and I couldn't get onto the second effort. Chance of three. We stay at two with ten minutes to go. Alaba has Rafinha on one side, and Muller, who's just come on for Shakiri inside of him, he finds me on the left foot. Oh, I tried it. I tried to finesse that to the far top corner. He got taken away and ended up kicking thin air. Only one minute of stoppage time added on. And in fact, there goes the half final whistle. Not even going to get the chance for anything else to happen. Close to 3-0 on a couple of occasions there, but only the two goals. Doesn't matter. We get the 2-0 win, a clean seat to go along with it. A goal and an assist for ourselves. Look at my swagger there. Rocking from side to side. A very confident walk from our character. Character? Yeah, I guess. From our pro. Really pleased with that game, to be completely honest. Mainz were uh, a decent opposition, actually. They did have quite a few decent chances and actually threatened more so than you might have thought. But we're heading to the cup game against Hanover 96 in high spirits. And hopefully we can come out with a similarly good result. Right, there's going to be a bit of a cut in the recording there because I have played this Hanover game, scored an absolute fucking worldy and my PVR had frozen and hadn't recorded anything past the end of the first game. Absolutely devastated. I scored a fantastic goal and it's completely lost to, uh, to the passes of time and will never ever see it again. I can't even look at any footage to record or to recall it and I can't even show you it. I'm absolutely devastated. Sorry if uh, there's been a bit of a weird jump in the commentary between the la end of the last game and the start of this one. But we've got a cup game against Hanover. I'm going to play it again. And uh, hopefully, I won the game 2-1 as well, unfortunately. So hopefully we can come away with a good win again. And then we'll progress all the way through until that Dortmund game and hopefully have a transfer uh, issue for you to... Uh, to, uh, to leave me some suggestions on. But anyway, let's play Hanover again, shall we? And uh, fingers crossed, I can at least replicate the result, if not the amazing goal. But here we go again. Here come Hanover with Stindl. First chance of the game. Chance for him to create something. Rataral. Has will into Borsano. Got Kasimovic. They've actually got Loic Remy up top as well, I think. Stindl here down the right-hand side. Or at least they played Remy in the previous game. Whether he's playing today, I think that's him, number 19 there. They have found the ball back to Prib. Are they going to get a free kick here? They are. Chance for them then. 20 minutes in. First real chance of the game. Just attempted to block the clearance there, but it was a bit overly physical perhaps. David Alaba. Or can they get the ball into the box? They can. There's a man underneath it. It's Sané, but it's straight at Diego Alves. Fortunately, straight at Diego Alves, because Sané is a big lad, and he was well underneath that, and that is a terrible clearance by the goalkeeper, and uh, any chance of a counter-attack has gone. Yes, into Cruz. Cruz with Neymar in front of him. Can't quite find him though, so he's going to use Javi Martinez again. Alaba. 
This ball does find Neymar, and I'll call for a through ball, and he might try and find me over the top. He's got the ball to me. Now, can I finish it? Yes, we can. Drilled it underneath the goalkeeper. We make the breakthrough. Neymar scored the first goal in uh, the game that was now non-existent, and he sets up the goal for the first one in this one, which, fingers crossed, you are seeing. So, it's by Munich 1. Hanover 96 nil, lovely ball across, absolutely perfectly weighted and a good finish from us. Into the side netting, 1-0 up and hopefully progressing through in the Deutsche Pokal. Here's Felipe into Stindl, chance for Hanover to perhaps get themselves back in the game here. Kasimovic just found Stindl around the outside, he's onside. Good ball into the box, Remy with the first touch and Dante clears. That was a great chance for Hanover there. If Remy could have brought that under his spell quicker and perhaps not had such a dodgy first touch, he might have been able to get a quick shot away. Although Stindl looks like he might be getting down the outside of Alaba again, but the Austrians done very well to, uh, to force them out. Hopefully that can uh, stifle their threat, but they are, a, a good, uh, they are a good attacking side, Hanover, and they did score in the previous recording of this particular game. Smederback might have the chance here. Good shot, well blocked again by Dante. Defending very well so far, but they are, seem to be determined to, uh, to try and try and try again. We'll just have to weather the storm. It's Javi Martinez. We might be able to fashion one last chance here before the end of the half. Cruz is going to look for me over the top as well, but Sané does really well. He's such a tall, strong defender, and it is a tough ask to try and get that ball perfectly placed in behind him for a second time in a game. Well, he done it once, but not quite able to do it through another chance. Perhaps might be able to do it here, though. Neymar, maybe keep the ball, has done. I'll try and find him again. We found the ball in behind Sané this time. Do I pull back? I have done. Neymar, though, might not need me. Hits the post. And Hanover clear it away. We've still got possession, but we're not going to get the chance to build something else. Oh, jeeps. That was a, a really fast-paced end to the half, wasn't it? Neymar very, very close to picking up a goal of his own there. Hitting the woodwork. We're going at the break 1-0 up. Hopefully we can continue our uh, attacking premise towards the end of that half and get ourselves a second goal. Because the way Hanover have played this first half, they do have a goal in them. And we have to be wary of that. But for now, we're in front. We're under a lot of pressure. You can see the, the defenders not really showing any sort of composure, just hacking it clear anywhere they possibly can. Here's Borsa now into Kasimovic. Kasimovic finds Lert Remy onside. Lert Remy, and it's 1 1. Hanover do get the goal they're looking for. It was only a matter of time considering the way they've been playing so far. An hour into the game, just under half an hour left. We need to get another goal, otherwise, this is going to go to a replay. Javi Martinez. Nice threaded through, we're looking for the man in the box in the shape of Tony Cruz, finds me, a left footed shot, oh we've done it, we've scored a left footed goal boys, <laughs> we've actually managed to score a goal on our one star weak foot, it's Bayern Munich 2, Hanover 96-1, literally 60 seconds, 90 seconds after they went, uh, brought it back to 1-1, we managed to get ourselves back in front, nice run from Cruz, fantastic threaded ball to him, good first touch, Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. I think it was the fact that it was such a poor shot with our left. Not really too much power and not the best of connections and it swerved away. It only just went in off the post, as you can see there. Not the best of finishes, but exactly what we needed to get ourselves back in front. Oh, and it just went in. Damn you, one-star weak foot. We really need to improve on that front. It's Rattarao into Suleimani. Stendhal, Schmieder back. Hanover have kept possession since... Uh, that last chance of ours and when Remy went off. Borsa now into Suleimani. They're just playing the ball about. You can tell, you can just tell that they're going to create one key chance before the end of the game. We just have to hope and pray that they miss it. Felipe on the ball. They're trying to create something here coming down the left-hand side with Borsa now into Prieb. Out to Pocognoli. Please, just... Don't equalise. Please don't equalise. Prieb whips the ball in. Oh, it's a loose one. Diego Alves is able to come and collect the cross. Take your time. Calm down, Diego. Take your time. He is good. Oh, and there goes the final whistle. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it worked. We are going to go through to the next round of the Deutsche Pokal with a 2-1 win over Hanover 96. In actual fact, that is the exact same result that, <laughs> that happened the last time I recorded it. So we won 2-1. Unfortunately, the footage got lost, and then we won 2-1 again, but this time, we got both the goals. 24th minute and 63rd minute, Chesnoy 2, Bayern Munich 2, Hanover 96-1. I will now advance towards that Borussia Dortmund game, and fingers crossed, we'll have a transfer decision for you guys to vote on in the comments section by the end of the episode. I will jump to that now.
Okay, transfer offer has come in again from Real Madrid. We had this in the previous transfer window. They came in for us three times on deadline day. Three times on deadline day. And I turned them down. Now, I cannot stall and get another offer, so I'm going to put it to you guys. Do we move to Real Madrid or not? I'll stall for now there, and then we'll have a look in the team stats and see what players, what strikers they currently have in their lineup. Now, they will be in here. Real Madrid Club de Football. Let's have a look. Strikers. They have Aguero, Morata, uh two youngsters Wayne Rooney and Gareth Bale Wayne Rooney is how old 31 years old so still a very 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 good striker uh, Gareth Bale currently has six appearances three goals in the Champions League and Aguero has two appearances it's your decision we will probably get another offer from the, the Barclays Premier League between now and um, the end of the window so, rather than turn Real Madrid down again, I will put it to you guys, because a lot of you were quite uh, quite put off by the, or put out by the idea that uh, I didn't actually put that Real Madrid offer to you. So, I will put it to you now. Do we sign for Real Madrid? Considering they have all of those big name stars in their lineup, do we go to Real Madrid? Or do we wait? Do we reject it and wait for a Barclays Premier League offer? It's your decision. Make the right choice. That's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies about the weirdness in the middle with the, the swapping of recordings where I lost the footage, etc. Hopefully that won't happen again. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button. Let me know that you're enjoying this series in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. There will be a link in the description and as an annotation on the screen to do so. And I will see you next time.